for joining Crafts with Quana. Today we'll be doing some canvas painting. And I'll be showing you step by step how I got this painting of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So this is a perfect gift from a child to their grandparents, to their siblings, even their teachers, their aunts and their uncles. So stay tuned as I show you how I created this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer using a canvas paintbrush and some acrylic paint. First, we're going to start with um, a blank canvas. You can use a bigger canvas, you can use a smaller canvas. I am also using acrylic paint. Right here, I have the colors yellow, red, white, and black. On a separate little palette, I have a navy blue and I have a little bit of white in there. It's going to get a little messy because we're going to do some mix in to achieve our background and I also have brown that brown will be for our reindeer also you would need you will need paper towel and you also will need paint brushes I have two size paint brushes two sizes of paint brushes I have a small one for our detail and I also have a big paint brush for our background let's get started so first, I'm gonna hold my canvas so you guys can view this. And I'm gonna dip my paint brushes in the water. One thing you always wanna remember when painting, please keep your paint brushes in the water so they don't dry out, okay? I'm gonna mix my colors. And we mix in the white and the navy blue together. There we go. And this is going to create the perfect sky night. Mix it in. Told you it would get a little messy. Mix, mix, mix all of that color in. And when you're done, you should you should have this color. You see? Next, we're going to begin to paint our background. We start with the far corner. And here's where you can add some water to thin out the paint because acrylic paint is very thick. There you go. Dip it in the water, dip it back in the paint. You want to get nice streaks back and forth. Back and forth movement. Going all the way down.
And don't worry about the messiness. It's okay. It gets messy, but it's going to be beautiful in the end. I just want to paint all the way to the corners too. You can paint the sides. Make sure you get every corner. It's important that you cover up every corner. Every corner. There you go. Okay. So right now I have my sky almost completed. Um, the next step, I'm going to go in with some white paint. But first, I'm going to clean my brush. Please make sure your brush is nice and clean. You can spin it around in the water. And that's how you know it's clean. And I'm just using my paper towel to dry off my brush to make sure I got all of that blue off. All the blue. So then you can go take your paintbrush, dip it in some white. I'm just dipping it. And you wanna go back and forth. Okay. And we're gonna blend the white in with the blue. And this is gonna create the perfect night. Night sky. Go in and just go back and forth. You see how we blended that so well by just going back and forth with your paintbrush. Your blending the white and you're blending the blue together okay next we're going to start on our reindeer's head so this is so important the brush that we are going to use is this little small brush we can give our brushes name teeny brush and Big brush, and this one is medium brush. We're gonna take our teeny brush. I'm gonna dip it in my brown paint. And I'm gonna just draw a circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. This is my reindeer's head. Let's see. We're just doing the outline of our reindeer's head. Then we're gonna take our, our big brush and go into the brown. 
and paint the inside of that circle that we just outlined. And we're gonna move our brush in a circular motion. There you go, round and round we go in a circle. Bring your brush. To do a full circle, round and round and round and round and round and round and round we go. So we have our head of our reindeer completed. I'm just gonna throw my brush back into the water and swish it around. And we're gonna go with our teeny teeny brush. And we're gonna draw the, we're gonna paint the antlers. We're gonna make the outline of the antlers. I'm going to go back in with my brown. Start with my amber. And I just drew a line from the deer's head, the reindeer's head, to about the corner. Next, I am going to draw a line coming from my first line. It's almost like a tree branch if you think about it. Making little tree branches because that's what antlers look like. antlers a little bit thicker but right now that's we're just going to do the outline of the antlers so i'm going to draw my paint my second antler i'm going to start right about here and this is going to go out this way bring my brush to the top of the, the second line. And then I'm gonna branch off and make that a little antler. So far we have our antlers, we have our head, we're gonna make our antlers a little bit thicker because reindeer antlers are much thicker than this small line. So I'm gonna go back in with my big brush. I will dip it in the black paint and I'm just gonna take it flat like this. 
lay it flat on my canvas and spread and you'll get the perfect antler. I'm just gonna go over every line and do the same thing. We're just going over our antlers to make them thicker, to make thicker lines. And you want to go up, 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 up. So there are our antlers and our reindeer head. Next, we are going to draw the reindeer ear. Now this might get a little tricky. So the color we need for our reindeer ear, we're gonna start off with brown and we're gonna start with our teeny brush again. And we're gonna make the shape of an ear. So this is gonna be on the side of the reindeer's, almost the side of the reindeer's head. So I'm starting off with a circle motion, or like an oval, going up. And at the top, I'm making a point. And I'm going back down. See that. So I'll do this motion over again. I'll trace over again. So I'm making an oval, and at the very top of the oval, I'm going to make a point. I'm going to go down to complete my oval. And next, we can go inside and paint our reindeer's ear. I'm going to leave the middle. I'm not going to paint the middle because the inside of the middle is going to be pink. So I'm just going to paint around it. And leave a little space. And dip my brush, make sure I give it a whirl inside of my cup. And with the pink paint, go inside of the deer's ear. There we go. Make a triangle right inside of the deer's, inside of his or her ear. So far we have our deer's head, we have the antlers and the ear. So what are we missing now from our reindeer? How about a face and how about a nose? We're gonna make this Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna use our small paintbrush to make reindeer eyes. Let's see. Actually, we're gonna make the nose first. Let's get our nose on there. So, we're gonna make an oval for the nose. Make it start right about here. 
where we're going to make us an oval. We're make a big oval because we want everyone to see Rudolph the Red Nose right there. circle or half a circle with red paint. I'm actually going to use my my big brush, my big guy here to fill that in. Take the red paint. And there is our nose. Need to get, okay, perfect. You can see. I'm gonna add some more red because you want this nose to be very bright. That was the brightest thing on Rudolph was his nose. I'm just adding more layers of paint. That's pretty bright. It's pretty shiny. Pretty shiny nose. And next, we are going to let's see. We're going to make our eyes. So this, we're going to um, start with a oval. Shape. shape for the eyes. And then fill in that oval shape. Then I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water again and dry it off on my napkin. And I'm going to go in with my teeny paintbrush again, but I'm going to use white. And we're going to go in right about here. We're just going over the black paint. So I just noticed I made a big oopsie. I painted too much. I put too much white on top of my back, but we can always correct that. We can fix it, we can fix it. We go around and just paint it over.
you can this is how I fix my mistakes. I just paint over it with a darker color. So we're gonna try this again and we're gonna go in with the white and create his eyeballs. That's much better. Much better. All you need is two little small circles inside of our oval. So here's where it gets fun. So our reindeer is basically, it's all complete. We have the head, the antlers, the ear, the eyes, and the red nose, of course, of course. Next, we are going to make ornaments. So remember how I said the antlers look just like um, tree branches? We are going to draw a couple, paint a couple ornaments on here. I'm gonna take my small paintbrush, the teeny eeny one, teeny teeny. And you can paint your um, ornaments, whatever color you have. But I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do yellow, um, a little pink. I might add in some green. Let's see, I have some green, lime green paint. I will be using for my ornaments. So first I'm going to start with the pink. And then go ahead and make a circle just for our ornament. And I made a little top to the ornament. I drew a line at the center of the ornament. So this is where it becomes your art, um, your individual art because you can put place these ornaments wherever you want on a picture or you don't even have to place the ornaments on your um, antler. You can color in whatever color, make whatever size you want to. You can make them different sizes, different shapes. Ornament comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. So go ahead and be as crafty as you can and make your ornaments. I'm gonna hang one right about here. I'll go on with the yellow. Next, I'm gonna go in with green. I kind of like these very bright color vibrant colors I'm gonna hang that right around here And let's see what else color. Oh, a red color, of course. And I'll hang that right 
through here. I think we need some more ornaments. I'm gonna jazz it up a little. And I'll even add a, a blue ornament. Let's see. Go on with your blue and you add these ornaments anywhere. I'm just placing these ornaments anywhere on my dearest antler. So here's where the fun, where it gets really fun. We're gonna make a snowy mane. So we're gonna create our little snowflakes with the tip of our paintbrush. So um, take the tip of your paintbrush, dip it in the white, and we're gonna make dots. Make these little dots. And this gives us the perfect little snowflakes. And just like um our just like our ornament snowflakes are different. So you can make big snowflakes, small snowflakes, you can um make tiny tiny snowflakes remember each snowflake is not that are different every snowflake is different so make tiny tiny snowflakes make a large one here In here, we made a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer painting, and we all did it together. I love it. Look what we created. Now, you might notice that your painting probably doesn't look like mine, and mine won't look like yours, but that's okay. We're all artists, so everything we do will be different because it comes from us, it comes from our heart. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. We created our first painting together, and this, oh. We forgot one last thing. Because you are an artist, make sure you sign your art. And you just put your initials. So I'm gonna put S and J. I'm gonna sign so everyone knows this is what I created. Thank you so much for joining me for my very first mini art lesson. I hope you enjoy. Have a happy holidays.